Hi, my YouTube friends. Again, it's Dino Pinch. You're in my handyman zone. That's like the Japanese style of saying me. Uh, instead of like me, they say me. Alright, so anyway, um, we're in the handyman zone and today we're going to be changing the wiper blades on like a car or a light truck or any truck actually. Um, here, wiper blades and the way you're going to know that they get bad is they're either going to start streaking, they're going to like rip, um, they're basically not going to give you uh, clear vision. Uh, here we have a Chevy uh, light pickup truck and on this side we have a Chrysler uh, Pacifica. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is take a tape measure because they sell wiper blades by size so you want to measure how long it is uh, it, you know it's like about it's not like exact so these are like 22's so there's two this thing also I already know so I don't really have to measure but I'm just gonna show you again we're just gonna measure and these are 22's so we have two and this one also in the back you have the little rear window wiper and that is a 12 so we're gonna go to the auto parts store and we're gonna purchase four 22 inch wiper blades we're gonna look for the best deal the best value because some of these like new you know they always come up with these new gimmicks micro edge triple edge five edge whatever but some of them are like $25 each but you can get uh, also get a top name brand for like seven or eight dollars each so we're gonna get uh, four of the 22 inch and we're gonna get one of the 12 inch the way to make this easy to do is because most of the time the wiper blades are gonna tuck down behind the cowl <clears throat> so the easy way to do it is you turn your key to the accessory position turn your wipers on and you want to shut the key off and stop the wipers like halfway up the window that way we'll be able to reach the part we have to reach to get the wipers off having purchased our new 22s and these were like uh, we looked around and uh, that's that's the size anyway we looked at we didn't go to different stores but we picked out the name brand that was uh, cheapest in the store now there's uh, instructions on the back very simple pictogram instructions on the back of the package if you run into any trouble although this video should be able to handle it for you now I notice here this is my uh, I notice right here this is my squirter for my washer fluid and it's actually must have got clipped on something so we're gonna straighten that out anyway you pick up the wiper arm and uh, we want to we want to push this in because there's like a round clip you see that and now be careful with this it's spring-loaded if I let this go right now I'd crack my windshield so we put it down gently that's the one thing I want you all to be careful for and you can see this just kind of slipped in in that uh, in that chalk so then we take the new and we just match it up with that chalk in the same position and I don't know if you noticed that but I kind of like tilted it tilted it up and dipped it in because it's got to fit right in there and then we push in that way until it clicks okay that wiper blades installed some cars have a pin In that fits through the hole other cars and trucks have this chalk that it fits in this rounded uh, spring-loaded chalk so now we're gonna go to the other side and I'll tell you one thing real quick now um, if you think this is beyond you most auto parts stores if you buy the blades from them they'll send the guy out to the parking lot and put them on for you because you can see it just takes like a second so don't be scared to ask at the auto parts store for them to actually come out and install it again we're gonna lift this up we're gonna push it out of the chalk and then I kind of tilt it a little and unlock it don't let this go put it down gently if you have to because it's spring-loaded it'll crack the windshield get your new one make sure it's facing the right direction we want the rounded part of the chalk to match the rounded part and again I'm gonna dip in and then once it's in now I can push that way and lock it in until it clicks push more till it clicks okay 
Wiper blades on. That job is done. This truck is done. We're gonna go over to the Chrysler now. Won't be needing the bucket for the Chrysler, but we're gonna use it for trash. And I haven't figured out any alternative use for these old wiper blades. So unless you're scrapping small amounts of light iron, they're gonna go in the trash. So this is the Chrysler. Again, I'm gonna push it my way until I unclick it. And then I'm gonna kinda, of, now the Chrysler is different. I can cock the arm all the way up. Where on my truck, I can't. So I don't have to worry about slamming into the windshield. Uh, a lot of people like to, you'll see, when a snowstorm is imminent, or if you live in a very snowy area, people will put their wiper blades up like this to keep them from freezing to the windshield. Because if the uh, you pull it off, you like can actually whip, rip your wiper blade. So again, here's my bent arm, and there's my chalk, and I'm gonna kind of tilt it in there, line up that chalk, and push it till it clicks. And now we're gonna place it down there. I'm gonna go to the other side, do that, it's starting to drizzle. Get this job done. Okay, again, we could cock this one up. Okay, but before I do that, I want to put my pressure that way to unclip it. Okay, kind of notching. Here we go. Removing the new one from the package. Lining up the chalk. And again, we're going to like dip and stick her in there. And again, this one gets the pressure that away. So, well, I put it in the wrong dip hole. And this one gets the pressure outboard to click it into the chalk. Just make sure it is indeed lined up. There we go, now until it clicks. Okay, that one's done. Let's go and move on to that one last one in the back. And as you can see, I've done four, five in like, five minutes maybe not counting the shopping for it a little clip I'm pushing in my finger here there's a little clip if you could see that little clip okay and that'll help you unclip it and again dip it out and dig our new one out of the package here and uh, again lining it up putting pressure to the outboard till it clicks job is done five wiper blades five minutes we're gonna get a much better uh, safer driving conditions now like instantly uh, doing this job you're gonna get a much safer and clearer view of the road uh, safer driving for you and your fellow motorists and family whoever happens to be in the car with you or sharing the road with you so again, anytime they're streaking, ripped, or you feel that you're not getting a good vision, change the wiper blades. Uh, I'm Dino Pinch. You're in the handyman zone. We're saying goodbye. And don't forget to share, like, comment, because all of that stuff helps me out with this YouTube gig. And subscribe to my handyman zone channel.